Fairyland is for adults too. <laughs> hey, sweetie. Yeah. You should always be this young at heart. <laughs> this is fun. I haven't done this for a while. <laughs> No, an ogre in your way. An ogre is in your way. <laughs> How do you get by an ogre? How do you get by an ogre? <laughs> an ogre kiss? <laughs> We've been in Solomon's Island for a month, getting work done on Lab Mariner to prepare her for our trip south. After a week of strolling along the river walk, visiting the museum, eating at several restaurants, including a tiki bar, and enjoying the beautiful sunsets, we're ready to explore the surrounding area. Here are three great day trips that you can easily take from Solomon's Island. Our first day trip is to Anne Marie Sculpture Gardens, which is in the Solomon's Island community and about a three mile drive from our marina in the downtown area. The boardwalk through the woods provides an experience of place at different levels and from different perspectives. Kids must think this is the funniest thing in the world. Why would they build it all zigzaggy like this? They do not like that at all. That is scary. Only the mocha. The girls don't seem to care. Mocha is like freaking out. You not coming back on here? You scared? Mocha come for the love. Who's coming for the love? Who's coming for the love? Who's coming for the love? Yes! <laughs> I'll walk across metal grate for your love. <laughs> Mocha's had enough love. He now wants to get off. I love that. That speaks to me. <laughs> Help me! That's really... That really does speak to me for some reason. Here's another one that finally speaks to me. I really like that. I would call this one... Propeller in space. Perfectly placed with the sun. It is. Very nice. Does this one also speak to you? Yes. What does it say? I'll show you. Hand me the uh, camera. Mm -hmm. you can see your mirror. Image. It says, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, look. Look, guys. Who's that? Oh, there's dogs right there. There's dogs. Where are they? There's Stephanie. Uh, there you go. When I think of you, I think of you like that. Oh, actually, yeah, you're there. So that was kind of like a funhouse effect. What yes. was your favorite thing about the funhouse? Do you remember? The scary clowns. <laughs> scary clowns. I like the where you walked up the steps where they went weird ways and you had to like try to get up the steps. Oh. That was usually in the entrance, but I thought that was kind of fun. Is that because you've been drinking? Either that, no, I wasn't usually drinking at the age of six. Um, <laughs> 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 and I also like the rotating wheels where you had to walk over the, the wheels that rotated. I like this one done specifically for that location, I think. Yeah. I thought she How said cool. they did fairy houses starting 10 years ago and the first year they had 24 and it's been a huge raging success and they do new fairy houses every year and families, grandparents with their grandchildren will build them and then put them out and just wonderful family memories and it's always turning over so it's always worthwhile coming back every season to see the latest part. This is a dragon house and that is a snake that he's living in. He's living in a big, huge, dead snake. Oh, we got a gnome house. These are definitely gnomes. 
the gnome hats. Well, that's kind of creepy. This is a skeleton. It was a graveyard. Ooh, eerie. This one is up high. They wanted to make sure they were well protected. I like this one with all the birdhouses. That's very cute. Orion's Rocket. This is the dog fairy house. Pixie Putt Putt. Oh, that's cute. Oh, this is a uh, seven dwarfs. This is kind of cool. Bunch of parts. Hi guys. Do you know what this is called? Uh, Stonehenge. The Council Ring. You know what I call this? Seating area for Jim and the dogs. Oh, more dog butts. Ah. Let's tie him. That's right, Boca. Tie her up. Tie her it's up. It's a dog melee. Who's getting love? Who's getting love? I guess Dad is. <laughs> I'm not sure I appreciate it, but I'm getting it. Well, just the girls. Oh, the girls are getting scratched. Okay, no one wants your attention. Ooh. It's been really nice because we are the only people here. We saw one other couple walking and that has been it. Coming at nine in the morning was a good idea. So what'd you think of the sculpture garden? Well, <laughs> it was good. Got dad a picture. <laughs> Yeah, Dad just kept walking us and walking us. He would not stop. We just wanted to lay down and get some rest. We got that water break, and we were ready to take a break. Stay. Stay. Our second day trip was to Jefferson Patterson Park, which if you drive, is about 21 miles from the downtown area of Solomon's Island. We took Lab Mariner, which is an about seven nautical mile sail from Solomon's Island up the Patuxent River, taking us under the Governor Thomas Johnson Bridge and into St. Leonard Creek, where we anchored for several nights. This is a very deep river. How deep is it? There are places that are 135 feet deep. Wow. We anchor in St. Leonard Creek, right next to Jefferson Patterson Park. Do you know where we are, Jim? We're at some state park my wife took me to. <laughs> Jefferson Patterson. Happy dogs or walking dogs? <laughs> no wonder the frogs like it. That Frog is a mucky pool. It's funny that they have please keep out signs because I can't imagine people would be like, can't wait to go swimming well, I there. I think a boy would love to just dip his stick in there. You like the dugout canoe? Hole one. It's part of a catamaran. Hole one of two, yes. We spent some time exploring the Eastern Woodland Indian Village, which was constructed oh. using all natural materials. Oh, you can look inside. Now yeah, we go inside. Mocha. Hello, Mr. Mokes. Hello, Missy Nubis. Miss Nubis. Go on. Mocha. Go on. All right, everybody got their water? Oh, this one you could go inside. Oh, 
Ooh, it smells good in here. It smells like a fire. I must have used it. So this one's got a big spider web. I'm a little hesitant to go through that spider. <laughs> There's another entrance on the other side. Let's see if that one's free of spider webs. This one is free of spider webs. Oh, there's one over here. Uh, I spoke too soon. There's the spider. So guys, what do you think of the recreated Eastern Woodland Village? They found storage pits that were used for storage. Trap doors in the floor allowed access to the pits. This four foot deep pit was lined with wood to stabilize its walls. Subterranean storage. Stephanie, where are the dogs? I think we lost them. <gasps> Yes, they decided that they don't want to go any further. Yeah, they've given up. The point where the Patuxent River meets the St. Leonard Creek, the largest naval engagement in the history of Maryland, took place during the War of 1812. This was an Eagle Scout project. What was? The replica gun battery was an Eagle Scout project. Typical of gun batteries used in the Chesapeake Bay region during the War of 1812. Hey, Mom, can the ducks be released, please? Well, of course they can. Okay. Kind of a cool Eagle Scout project. Ah, so the cannon's fiberglass. Yeah. This is all wood. Looks quite authentic. Yeah, it does. Because I said fiberglass and I was expecting Fiber the wheels to be fiberglass. Yeah. What do you guys think of the cannon? The grass is nice and wet and cool. <laughs> what do you like about this tractor? This is probably the coolest tractor I have ever seen in my life. Not only is it minimalist and extremely old, but some of the forms on it are beautiful. Staggered spokes. They did this to build rigidity for the spokes to the hub. He's bolted on really thin, big spike. The frame here is bolted directly onto the transmission. The two massive gears that run the transmission on both sides. Oh, this is just so cool. You are a fan of farm equipment. No, I'm a fan of really old, great mechanical beasts, and this is one. The park also offers several miles of trails, some along the narrow strip of beach beside the Patuxent River. Poison ivy everywhere. Nubis? Mocha? Nuala? Three We're not successful until my wife decides to get in. The trip has been Stop, successful please. when there are three panting dogs. One, two, give us three panting dogs. Success. Jefferson Patterson Park is a great place to learn about local history, walk on a picturesque trail, or even to enjoy a beautiful sunset. Our third and final day trip was to Myrtle Point Park which for us was about a four nautical mile sail. But if you're driving, it's about six miles from the downtown area. After turning into Cuckold Creek from the Patuxent River, we find a place to anchor for the night. And then after Lab Mariner Secure, we dinghy over to the beach area at the park. When we can get to land without your shoes getting wet, it's all good. So I think this just takes you down to the short little beach access. Yeah. Look at that beach over there. We'll get to that one. That's the main one. That's the one we'll go to then. What did you think of our sail in today? It was a beautiful sail. Perfect wind, perfect angle. Perfect temperature. Emery is invited back to every single sail we do. She brings us this much luck. She brings us lucky wind. Exactly. Oh, this is nice yeah, how you so. kind of walk through the grass. This is a nice strip of beach. I see that many nice strips of beach like this that are totally empty. That's pretty cool. 
pretty in the background with the bridge and the sailboat going under it. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's that's all about not, how much they love me. It's not because they have that stupid gentle leader on. It's all the. Pine tree looks like it's uh, holding on for dear life. Woo. Oh, look at the uh, stump. That's cool. Yeah, isn't it? It's kind of sticking out. It's like it's the some owl lived in this, in, this, uh, in this one. Oh. <laughs> that is cool. This is Kingfisher Pond where we may be able to spot oh, an otter. Uh, I can't make any promises. Here, too. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's one here. Pick this one up. There's a ton on this pause. Mm -hmm. And they're on me too. No, 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 don't sit in. We gotta go. Ooh. No, it's alright. They are effective. Yes, they are. Me. I got a Let's look for a dog. Dogs walking gingerly. That means they'll have another one on them. I accidentally sat on one. Uh, it's like, ow! This, it's a very odd shape. It almost looks like a rubber, but it's not. It looks like those puffer balls almost, but like a black version. Yeah. Because it looked like this one kind of exploded. There used to be a railing there. Took the railing with it. We're almost there. So what do you think of the hike so far? I like the hike. It's cool and nice canopy. I think they're ready to go home. Look at that. Wow. It looks so pretty there. And we're with how many boats? Four anchors, five boats. Because the two power boats are tied together over there. Myrtle Point Park is a great place to walk on a picturesque trail, visit a beautiful beach, or view wildlife. But do be careful of the sand spurs.